Before I get into this, I just want to make abundantly clear that I am not somebody who wants kids ever. Not because I hate them. I think it will be bad for my mental health, considering I have sen considering I have sensory issues and I value my alone time. And I also don't judge people for having kids, because that's fucking weird. Now with all that out of the way, I just looked at the child free reddit and some of the stuff was just downright toxic. And it worries me that all these people are like, yeah I totally agree with them, especially with all this weird hate towards children, and not necessarily the bad ones. I just arrived for an interview room full of people waiting in the lobby to do the same. To be fair, she did take the baby outside when they got loud, but was there no other way to avoid bringing your infant to a job interview? I'm not trying to be judgy. That being said, I think I blame our corporate overlords for us being in this situation, not necessarily the parent in this case. I like this post. Honestly, I thought from the title, like, it was gonna go somewhere else. But this one comment right here says that probably one of those, I'm gonna take my baby with them so they'll think that I need this job more than these other people because I have a baby kind of deals. Have you considered that it's not always easy to find a babysitter? Or even family members who aren't busy or... Or maybe she doesn't even have any family. Yeah, it's inconvenience to bring your baby to a job interview, but... What are you gonna do? Took myself to brunch. I'm so freaking happy I'm child free. I got up early, went to a great little coffee place, had matcha while I worked on my books. And I went home and relaxed a bit before heading to this cute little breakfast place. I had fresh squeegee orange juice, and I'm eating an amazing egg white omelet. I can never do this with kids. I'm pretty sure you can, though it wouldn't be as relaxing. What have you done with your dink lifestyle? What the fuck does dink mean? Dual income, no kids. Boyfriend and I have been together nearly five years, have a mortgage, a dog, but for some reason, we haven't traveled all that together much aside from New York City and LA. We make 170k combined in Florida. What should we do? Where should we go with our dink money? <laughs> if you're really into traveling, like, you gotta think being child free is the best option. However, posts like these, they just seem really smug. Oh, look at how great my life is because I don't have children. I don't know, that just seems like a weird flex to me. And the fact to say that you label your lifestyle as dink? I don't know. Can you be child free if you find babies cute? Just the look, not the mannerisms or the consequences that come with them. Yes, you can. I think babies are cute. I don't want one though. I think it'd be weird if you didn't think babies were cute. I think it's even weirder when people say that, oh look at this baby, isn't it so ugly? Not to be like, I don't know, PC, but I swear I have never seen an ugly baby. I don't know, I think it's just cruel to call somebody ugly. At least at that age. <laughs> they are everywhere and so misbehaving. Oh. I'm forced to use the bus due to an injury, and holy hell, why aren't anyone raising these kids? And why do they sit themselves behind me when the bus is 90% empty and I'm far back and kick my seat? And scream at their moms and fight with each other? Okay, yeah, this, this one's valid. Poor people glorifying poor parenting. Love is all they need. No, love isn't all a kid needs. People who can't afford kids shouldn't have kids. I'm child free for many reasons. I know children are expensive. I'm sick of people acting like it's okay to raise a child in poverty. It's so selfish and careless. I agree. Majority of LGBTQ plus content creators are having kids. Are there those who are child free? This sort of thing, I remember this bothered me a lot. Not content creators having kids, but people that say shit like this. I remember when PewDiePie announced that he and Marcia were having a baby. And this is actually what led me to the child free subreddit. So people were like, oh man, but now all he's gonna do is just make videos about his baby. Can't have my favorite YouTuber being a father. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You hate kids that much that you're willing to unfollow somebody just because they want to have a family. I mean, I get it. Sometimes baby pictures, they can be overwhelming. Still, I wouldn't unfollow somebody because they wanted to post pictures about their baby. And another thing, I can't stand anybody who says that they hate kids. You yourself are once a kid. Everybody on this fucking planet who's been lucky to reach adulthood 
was a kid. And no, not all kids are assholes that were raised by neglectful parents. There are good kids out there with good parents. And it's not like they're going to stay children forever. Anyone who says that they don't like kids, to me that's like saying that you don't like puppies or any kind of animal. Does anyone else wish that there was another word for child-free? Yes, I do. Because I don't want to be associated with you motherfuckers. I'm part of several child-free groups on Facebook and Reddit, and I feel the word child being present in those titles and in the word child-free just messes with my algorithm. Okay, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> I mean, what did you expect? You talk about kids so much that you're gonna get fucking ass for it because Big Brother's always watching. How many of you out there are child-free but still work with children? That's an interesting question. I have worked in education at the elementary school level for years. I love my job, I love working with kids. I even refer to my students as my kiddos. Now I'm happily single and child-free. Some people seem to think that it's weird to work with kids despite not having my own. Others wonder why the heck I would even want to work with children if I don't want to have my own. Personally, i found that some of the best teachers that I've had or worked with over the years never had their own children. Fuck what happened in the internet. Having kids on their Slack profile. Slack is a cloud-based team communication platform developed by like Slack technologies, blah blah blah. This woman I work with, whom I have never met in real life, has her two kids in her profile picture. I am just shocked. I don't want to see your kids while talking to you once a week. I don't think your preschool age children approved of this either. Just so tacky. This is not your family album. Dude, shut the fuck up. The way you talk about her having her kids in her profile picture, you make it sound as if her profile picture was her just showing the full butthole. And you know what? It says that she's a senior technical manager. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. Also, plenty of people put their kids in their profile pictures. It's not that weird. You're just a My brother is having a baby. Huh, so is mine. My brother and I were never close growing up. Our mom was always at work and her dad picked me as the favorite. Shit. <laughs> It didn't help that I had a lot of mental health problems I didn't understand. Last year we really seemed to be growing closer and would talk regularly and hang out. His girlfriend revealed her pregnancy a month ago and they made the rounds introducing her to the family. I knew the second she saw me she hated me. She hates how I joke with my brother. She hates that I'm trans. And she hates that I don't really reach out to her. She had a pre-existing child from her last partner and every time we were at a family function, she hides them behind her like I'm a creep. I'm going to be completely honest. I am afraid of children. They make me uncomfortable. They're loud and they're gross. I don't think she hates you because you're trans. To make a long story short, I'm afraid of losing my brother just when we were starting to get close and her close-mindedness is rubbing off on him. I can't stand kids at all, let alone a new baby. Bro, do you fucking hear yourself? You're calling her close-minded, but you admit that you can't stand kids. I don't know if this is the right sub for this, but I guess I'm just in mourning. I was just starting to feel like we were brothers and now a baby from some stranger is taking that away. I'm scared of never seeing my brother, and if I do see him, having to deal with a baby. He never said he wanted kids and was always against it, but he looks so happy now. I'm happy for him. There is so much I don't know and will probably never know about him. There are some people who are against having kids, but then they change their minds once they find out like they're pregnant, their partner's pregnant, and I don't know, some flip goes off. I know that's like some bullshit reason to have a kid. It's like, oh, you'll change your mind once you have it. I'm like, no. I think if I were in that situation, like, obviously I would be freaking the fuck out and I would not be happy about it. But the dude seems happy here, so get fucked. Breeders believe with wealth they have all eligibility in bringing a human to life. I have always stumbled upon when it comes down to- Jesus, learn how to fucking spell. When it comes down to this argument, where people say if some couple is very financially sound and has good family support, they are eligible for having kids. The kid will be protected and has all privileges in his life, blah blah blah. I mean, yeah. Before I realized, like, hey, Maybe I shouldn't have kids. I had that mindset of like, I'd want to be like financially stable before even adopting children. If I had a child, I wouldn't want them to struggle. Yeah, money doesn't buy happiness. And it's not the equivalent of love. But you know what? Money buys food and diapers. So yeah, that's the end of this reaction. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe, ring that bell, and I will ring it right back to you.